very good job guys excellent all right guys we will begin with a little standing warm-up and then we're going to move on our knees and continue our warm-up a little bit more actively so let's begin with the feet sit bones hips width apart and let's reach all the way up big breath it's a beautiful day today you reach all the way and all the way exhalation forward fold nice and gentle one if you have to bend your knees to begin with bend your knees let's reach halfway up and bend our knees and reach to the gentle beginner variation chair pose you don't have to sit low let's give it a big sweep and reach all the way up connect both hands together come on up on the tippy toes big lengthening feels better than the four hours bike ride <laughs> and let's take it all the way back to the forward fold relax the neck and drop the head we're gonna go back to the gentle chair pose if you want to go a little bit deeper this time go ahead and go a little bit deeper let's sweep and reach all the way up and this time we're gonna grab the right wrist take the right foot out and take it all the way to the side soft long straight give it a few breaths lengthen in reach 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 and all the way to the opposite side let's grab the left give it a good stretch the good warm up let the blood flow long 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 pull on the trees out and take it all the way back we're going to take arms all the way up connect both hands give it a little soft back bend if you need to support your lower back please support your lower back don't overdo it hips forward heart up and all the way forward fold we're going to be stepping back towards our kneeling position knees on the floor guys and start with a cat and cow for waking up the back even more up and down just a few movements and then we will add arms and legs reach up and open on exhalation neutral spine let's reach right arm forward left leg back and wake up the body wrist elbow shoulder always stacked abdominal wall in collarbones are wide reach longer guys right now a little bit more longer for four three Two, connect elbow to the knee and hold it really really strong and connected hold it from the center of your body for four three two open up just a long neutral line do not hyper extend the back pull the navel in instead big breaths and this time open up the right arm on the right and left leg on the left keep on holding it beautiful now lengthening a little bit more through those legs and arms pull the belly in keep on breathing take it back to the center and contract again one more time reach up and open and connect bind with the ankle if you can't reach don't worry about it for now look up and open shoulder blades connected heart open breathe actively relax the toes it's gonna to be easier relax the toes on the back foot extend that leg push down hold with me and back to the kneeling position round your spine relax your neck give it a couple times just up and down and let's reach our left arm and right leg pull the navel in keep it super strong and long keep on breathing four four three longer 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 two and connect contract from the center on exhalation draws the navel even deeper in relax your neck breathe actively keep connecting through the center guys reach up and open again long extended line and from the long extended line arm outside leg outside we're holding it isometric hold keep on breathing keep it steady inhalation through the nose exhalation through the nose keep breathing actively take it back to the center and contract one more time exhalation big breaths 
reach up and open, extend and bind, ankle to the knee. All right, that concludes the slower part of our warm up. We're gonna move to the up dog and down dog first. That's our first more active warm up exercise. Pick up your oven pace if you want to follow me. You can do that as well. If not, just go slower or faster. You can also instead do the up dog, just a kneeling position. Tuck your toes, plant your hands, plan ahead and push the hips back. Relax your neck and switch to the plank or up dog or kneeling position. Complete each and every movement, guys. Do not stop halfway, try to complete. Maybe it's gonna be slower than I move and that is okay. Maybe it's gonna be supported up dog or it's gonna be cobra or it's gonna be a tabletop on the knees eventually. Keep on breathing, bring attention to your shoulders on your down dog. Make sure you expand through the back fully. Give that full back a full expansion to all direction on your down dog and on your up dog do the same for your chest and rib cage expand layer the ribs out just like a feathers let's do a few more couple more and on the next one we're gonna stop in the plank for the plank work then we're gonna go back for dynamic work. We're gonna take our right foot up and point the toes. We will draw eight times our right knee towards the left elbow dynamically through the center. Let's go do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, guys, three through the center. Two, keep your plank, please. One, and chaturanga hold. Keep on breathing, four, three two up dog with me coming up downward facing dog excellent job relax and back to the plank right away left foot point your toes try to sustain your plank eight knee reaches to the right elbow go one touch it two three keep the upper body steady please four five breathe actively three two one chaturanga hold send your knees on the floor if you have to parallel line above the ground pick it up to the up dog and down for facing dog exhalation beautiful guys relax the neck we're going to the side plank we reach to the center we rock the heels we're going to the side plank and reach the arm up top your toes up front or right above the left leg and we're going to crunch through the side to wake up let's go do it we have eight do not hurry up precision seven six look at you how much stronger and more stable you become six five elbow to the knee four excellent job guys three and two superstars come on last one back to the plank low chaturanga dandasana we're gonna go to the other side elbows in hold it three two one up dog down dog side plank guys other side make sure that your wrist elbow shoulder stacked toes up front or above and let's do it we have only eight steady with control seven drive the elbow to the knee six five don't hurry up four three two and one back to the plank back to low chaturanga dandasana you can do it you can do it keep on pushing breathe come on up up dog downward facing dog relax restore both feet sit bones hips width apart hands nice and flat Take your right leg up. Draw the right knee, chin, chest or belly to the plank, guys. Take it back, exhalation, leg up. We have three more. Right knee, chin, chest or belly. Plank, take it back, exhalation. Nice and high, two more times. Knee, chin, chest or belly. 
exhalation one more time right knee to the chin chest take it up and open all the way look underneath the right push down chaturanga guys hold it with me you can do it you can do it come on up down dog left leg up all the way left knee chin chest or belly plank take it back exhalation three left chin chest or belly plank take it back exhalation two more left knee chin chest or belly plank take it back last one breathe actively it's going to be super helpful take it back push down look underneath chaturanga dandasana hold it hold it hold it hold it come on up up dog down dog relax restore relax restore we will take the right leg up look forward guys step forward to your crescent lunge nice long beautiful lunge reach up open up gaze over the right hand take it back gaze over the left hand take it up gaze over the right hand keep the form keep the chest up and open take it up gaze over the left take it up big breath step back to chaturanga one-legged transition come on up downward facing dog relax restore breathe actively take your left leg up and open step forward to your crescent lunge and that will conclude our active warm-up reach up and open gaze over the left keep the form level the arms take it back gaze over the right take it back gaze over the left lift the heart take it back gaze over the right take it back reach chaturanga dandasana one-legged transition or knees on the floor come on up down for a face window guys relax restore drop the head slowly guys walk with me to the bear plank and meanwhile bring the dumbbells closer okay we're gonna start our lightweight workout we're gonna be using our pilates in our yoga asanas for this matter if you need to be on your knees instead your bear plank be on your knees grab your one dumbbell with your right hand in a three four two let's go in row one two three four only four left on this side five six draw the elbow higher seven in eight switch the hands fix the position for your hover let's go do it one elbow higher two right along the rib cage three don't throw the elbow up lift pull and push lift push it back four three two dumbbell on the side from the left hold your bare position we hold for four four three four two knees on the floor step your both hands just a half a foot forward lean forward to the plank we're ready for eight tricep push-up eight seven six guys five excellent four full tricep push-up three two get ready to step back to the bear position all the way just the one step clear step back to the bear pick up your dumbbell with your right pull the elbow up and hold it let's go for tricep extension we have eight seven full extension six five don't throw lift with control six seven in eight switch the hands pick up the other dumbbell pull the elbow up pull the navel in go one two up in three full extension four don't drop on the way back five 
six, seven, dumbbell on the floor. Drop your knees slowly, walk half a foot forward so your chest can reach right in between the hands. Go, we go eight, seven, elbows in, full tricep reach is six. You can do it, come on, five, four, three, give it maximum effort, two, and one. We back to the bear for the bear hugs. Come on up, guys, and take your right hand. Grab your left shoulder. That feels like a resting position now. Brace, guys, brace, brace. If you need your knees on the floor, your knees on the floor. Take it, switch. Eight. Four left, good job, everyone. Three, two. We take it back to the downward facing dog. Extend your knees. Relax the hat, lengthen in the arms, press the hands into the floor. <sighs> Team, grab your dumbbell with your right hand. Check your position for your downward facing dog. It's gonna be the top on the side, just like we do it. And you're gonna draw the dumbbell outside of your left foot. Then you're gonna take it back to the center. Let's start together in the center. Ready, hips back, navel in, and go. 16, carry it back. 15, carry it back. 14, full downward facing dog, don't lose the form. 13, don't lose the form. Carry it over that mat. Breathe actively, control through the waistline. Relax your neck and top. We have only eight left, guys, eight. Up seven, fully outside of the left. Six, you can do it. Five, don't stop. Four, don't stop. Three, two, we're gonna leave the dumbbell outside, outside, and just grab the ankle straight all the way through. Hold it for four, for three, for two and grab the other weight all the way ready set and carry it out outside of the right one side two full back extension three it's a light weight four good job everybody five carry it six carry seven we have only eight left from here let's go do it eight Full side, seven, outside of the right foot, six, five, excellent job, four, three, two, leave it outside, leave it outside, and grab the ankle, straight in the full level, downward facing dog, shoulder blades apart, four left, three left, two left, Take your hands back to the full down dog. We ready for the flow, look forward and sneak through all the way. If you can't do that, then just the plank, then up dog. Come on up, back to the downward facing dog. All the way through and up. You can choose just the plank and kneeling position. We have two left, big one, one left guys. All the way, rest in your down dog. Keep on breathing, guys. Keep on breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and take your knees on the floor. Grab your dumbbells from both sides, both of them. We're coming up in the kneeling standing position. We will combine our overhead press with the little stretch and hold in Ustrasana position. If you would need to drop your weights for this, drop your weights for your camel post. Arms on top, hold the navel in, and we go 32. Up and up. Abdominal wall in, clear movements, guys. Full resistance in the, resistance in the arms, down, up, down in up down in up eight of the way eight 
up, seven, full touch, all the way, full touch, very good, up, up, down, in up, down, eight of the way, only 16 left, one, two, full release, three, four, it's a lightweight, guys, five, full, six, thrust, use the arms, use the arms, use those arms, we have eight left, don't arch the back, seven, up, six, six, five, four, guys, three, two, one, hands behind, on the heels, on the back, on the floor, hips forward, chest up, Take it back slowly. Draw your right foot up front. Grab your boss dumbbells. We're gonna be leaning to the front, but we're not gonna be dropping the shoulders. It's a lifted chest. Lean forward so your chest right above the front side of your mat. And let's go do it. One, two, three, guys. Four, five six seven eight we have eight left eight fully pull up seven use not only arm but use the right left part of your back three four five fully a little bit more backwards and three left two left one left switch the dumbbells to the other hand extend your knee reach up and open and take the dumbbells back down stay in your lunge reach up and open take the dumbbells back down to the foot abdominal wall in reach up and open take it back reach up and open take it back reach up and open we have two more reach up and open don't throw the weights take it back up and open dumbbells up front on the floor step back to your plank hold it for eight seven six five four guys three two step the left leg forward put the right knee back grab the dumbbells with the right hand hover over with neutral long back measure it up so it's not too far it's not too far back and go one Two, lean forward a little bit, just like you do in a fire horse, so you hover in above the front leg, that's it. Now, elbow back, back, not to the side, guys. Back, parallel the rib cage. Back, and back, and push it. We have eight left, seven, full range of motion, six, five, four, good job, everyone. Three, two, beautiful one dumbbells to the other hand right hand on the floor pull your knee up if you can if not hold your knee on the floor and ready we have eight top seven use entire arm and left back structure six i know come on five i've seen four guys left you can do it three two one take it back to the front both hands on the floor step back to your plank keep on breathing hold for eight seven six five four three two guys attention we're going to be hopping forward if you have to step you have to step we once you hop to the low chair grab your dumbbells Pick them up, we go to the full chair, and from there I'm going to show you. So bend your knees, hop. Dumbbells going to be always up front. Feet, seat bones, hips width apart. You reach. You keep your chair. You reach. Abdominal wall in, guys. Keep the chair, keep the chest lifted. Reach. In back. In reach. In back. We have three only. Two, one, dumbbells back, 
hop or step back to your plank. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to the chair pose. All the way, both dumbbells on the shoulders. Hold your chair pose. We're going to alternate the arms overhead press. Start with the right. Let's go do it. Right. Hold the chair. Left. Up front. Elbows up front. Right. In left. Say good one. Right. Abs in. Left. In right. In left. In eight left. Guys, hold the chair. Seven. Six. Don't load the toes. Five. Four. Get excited of the side plank rotations. And one more time. Take it back to the floor. Step or hop back to your plank. Hold for eight. Seven. Six. Getting stronger together. Five. Four, guys. And find your side plank on any side. We're going to do both of them. Grab one dumbbell. If you need your knee on the floor to support, you can do it. And we reach. We rotate all the way under. We reach. Take a look right along that standing arm. Under. Not over your feet. Right where your palm is on the floor. Up. And again, rotations through the waistline. Don't bend your elbows, guys. Reach. And lift. And reach. And lift, guys. And reach in lift in reach in lift and switch grab the other side make sure you don't do that way you do this way ready set let's do it together and under reach in under through the waistline obliques in under in reach this is four in reach we have only four left four reach three all the way two all the way in one dumbbells in the center knees on the floor guys grab the one dumbbell put it right inside and squeeze it you have to point the toes down flex your feet otherwise dumbbell will fall so you have to really draw the ankle over the glute come on down I need to set your knees directly underneath the hips and lift that dumbbell and hold in the tabletop position flex the feet squeeze the dumbbell squeeze the dumbbell squeeze the dumbbell pull the navel in and draw take it back you've got it draw perfect look at you you have to squeeze the dumbbell you have to squeeze it with your muscles and this is four take it back four left you can do it three left you can do it two left you can do it in one left guys hold it step back to your plank just like our plank position hold hold the dumbbell hold it no arching no down dogs it's a plank guys it's a plank lift the knee lift the knee we hold for eight seven six i'm so proud of you you can't imagine i was dreaming of those exercises and i already saw you all doing it perfectly all right take it back we switch the legs we're going to the clear tabletop position first 90 degrees abdominal wall in ready set and don't lose your time go one back to the center two back to the 90 degrees please three 90 degree position of the knee four use the center five draw that with control and precision with purpose over the shoulder guys in center back we have two left up and back and up and back to the plank left knee parallel the floor abs in that is perfect planks guys good job we have to add some weights next time <laughs> right too easy reachy plank plank that's it good job guys we have four left three left two left knees on the floor 
Go back to the plank with me. We're gonna move to the seated position in a few seconds. More like minutes. Let's move it a little bit forward because we're gonna go to the dolphin plank. All right, guys, we're gonna go quick 20 seconds run. Knees as close as possible to your chest and face. And ready, set, accelerate, 20 seconds. Come on, 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 quick, 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 quick. Get it done quickly. Halfway through. Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Four, three, two, one. Dolphin plank. Keep on breathing, guys. Keep on breathing. Dolphin plank. Stay with me. We're going to reach the hips up and back to the neutral spine. Take a look. You reach. You're on your tippy toes, give it a good angle. Back to the neutral line. You reach. Back to the neutral line. Keep on working. 16. Neutral. 15. Back to the center. 14. Everybody finish strong. Up. And down. And up. And down. And up. Down. Up. And center. And up. Beautiful work, guys. Very steady up. We have only eight left. Eight. Seven. Good job. Come on. Six. Finish strong. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All the way back to the plank with me. Back to the plank. We're going to switch the position in the three, two, one. Hop, grab the dumbbells. How are you feeling? We almost throw our dumbbell part. A few more cool things for our core, arms, chest, and abs. Okay, guys, here, here we go. We're gonna find our sweet spot here. Work our arms by just by isometric contraction hold most of the time. But we're gonna add the leg. Reach the right leg up. Make sure you find the sweet place. You don't feel your shoulders and neck and you feel your abs here, you're not gonna feel it. You have to lean back. Keep on holding. We're holding arms right parallel the floor. Seven, six, you have to feel your abs. Five, four, three, two. Here we go, guys. Open, back, seven, back. Don't touch the floor, activate that knee, keep the knee extended. Open, back, open, back, lean, beautiful, defined, toned arms. Come on, and no belly fat. Open, it's not healthy for us. Back, open, back, one more. Open and back. Go ahead, guys, take a look. We reach, we push and extend. We reach already. I start to count now when everybody starts. Eight, seven, you can do it. Six, good steady contraction in the abs. Only four left. Come on, come on, come on, guys. You can do it. Think about the yoga part. It's nice to feel accomplished when you do something what you thought it's going to be hard and then it's complete. It's a very good sensation. In, big on the floor. Left leg, come on, Steven, come on, don't quit. Four, three, activate the abs. If you don't feel them, you don't work them. Lean, lean, guys. Scoop the belly in like it's an empty bowl. And we're gonna work, second round, one. Arms parallel the floor, please. Richie, drop the wrist a little bit, that's it. That's it, then you feel the bicep right away, guys. It has to be parallel the floor. Open, activate the abs, lean back, pull the navel in. You have to support the back. And two left, look at you. And one left. Beautiful, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three. Oh, you need a little kick. Four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Hands up here, navel in, navel in, navel in. 
guys we're gonna go for plow pose or halasana or we can call it a roll over while you roll over you're gonna tap your dumbbells or lay them down try to hold them take a look keep holding please keep holding keep holding while i'm explaining don't leave it please stay right where you are and watch you're gonna go back you're gonna come up to the boat and lift you're going to bring them back come back up and lift ready on the position set we only have eight repetitions together and full one come on back up lift rise use the abs to rise take it back one back with me lift the abs to rise lift beautiful only six left back leave the abs to rise beautiful come on guys back this is a number four we do it together come on guys up 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 reach good job come on back this is number five reach lift beautiful come on back all the way reach use the abs look at you soon you're going to be able to hold the boat all day long come on up guys reach do your best last one left come on all the way up hold it with me for eight seven six five four three two knees together hold for seven six five feet up four three two stay with me and under in up in under in up we almost there guys in under in up only five left reach it don't quit guys everyone pick up pick it up pick it up <sighs> come on come on come on come on finish strong only three left you can do it only two left big ball circle only one left now guys stay with me drop the dumbbells stay with me drop the dumbbells we only hold for eight seven six five four three two feet on the floor and reach all the way up roll it back shoulder blades above the floor take a second to take a breath ready set right leg up and go come on back down don't drop the shoulder blades reach take it back we have six left reach take it back and reach and take it back forward left reach don't lay the shoulders all the way down lift a little bit and reach we have only two left we have one right and we have one left take the feet on the floor take the arms on the floor take the hips up all the way hips up hold it with me guys hold it with me for eight seven six five four three two slowly open up your knees bring your feet together to the bound angle take your arms up bring your lower back grounded on the floor lift your chest and hold with me for eight seven six five four guys from the center not from the neck you have to be able to breathe and we touch we under under go touch 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 eight seven guys six five four three two hands behind behind your head guys put your feet up hold for eight elbows in line with the shoulders seven six five four lower back on the floor under any circumstances you do not arch it guys three guys two one take a look we open 
we take it back close we open back to the bound angle we open watch your elbows guys in line with the shoulders we open you've got it we open beautiful watch your elbows open back we have two left open in back open in back come on up with me we're going to put the right leg behind left up front mm -hmm. in line the shoulders with the front of your mat fold forward we hold it for good certain amount of breath six to eight breaths Beautiful, couple more breaths. Slowly rise up. Put that foot like you're ready for the pigeon. Take your hands up front. It's between your lizard, your pigeon and your crescent lunge. Hold with me for eight, seven, six ankle and knee parallel each other four three two and now laser knee down pigeon pose relax your ankle on the left leg relax it guys relax it Let's slowly catch up on the right ankle. If you can, use the strap. Just catch it up. Try to keep your alignments, guys. Try to keep your alignments. Don't sit on the side up here. Lift, lift, that's it. Hold for four, three, two. We back to the pigeon pose this time. Lay this left arm underneath. Very good. Slowly come on back up. We're going to catch up from the other side. Use the strap, please. Great job. We're holding for a few more breaths before we're laying back down. This time you're gonna take your right arm under your knees. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Slowly guys, let it go. Take your right up front, left behind. Nice and open. In line your shoulders with the front of your mat. Fold forward when you're ready. And let's slowly come on back up. Just like you're ready for the pigeon. So put this right foot slightly more open. And come on up on the toes between your lizard crossing lunge and the pigeon. Draw the right knee towards the floor. Ankle and knee in line. Giving those hips and the hip flexor really good opening before the pigeon. Keep on breathing, guys. Ron, you need to put your ankle closer to the front of your mat. That's it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Everyone else, very good. Now we descend for the pigeon pose. Pigeon of your choice.
Take your time to get there. We're holding it for a few good breaths. Okay, chop your left ankle, guys, with your left hand first. Left with the left. Try not to sit back. Try to rise up. That's it, perfect. Couple more breaths, and then slowly, when you're ready, take your right arm underneath. And let's go ahead and switch. Catch up your left ankle with your right. All the way, reach the chest up, reach the chest up. Shoulders away. And then slowly take the left underneath the right. Let's come on back up. I will meet you guys in a plank. Push down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Come on up. Dumber facing dog, we stay here. We stay here for a good 10, 16 breaths. Take your boys, hands, shoulders width apart, feet, sit bones, hips width apart. Drop the head, drop the neck, shoulder blades apart, keep on breathing. We have some good work up here. We're going to take our right leg up, parallel the floor, flex your feet, carry it outside. Outside, guys, outside, parallel the floor. Very nice. Push the hips back, stay in your down dog. Keep on breathing. Take this right leg all the way back and up, draw the belly towards the standing leg. Expand through the spine even more. Look forward, guys, and step all the way through outside of the right hand. Bend your knee. In line the knee and the hip. Hover with me. A little bit lower. Nice and wide. That foot is outside. Take the left hand on the floor. Open up. Let's slowly take our boss hands up front. You're going to step your left outside of the right. You know what's coming, right? That's right. We have to work. It was a homework. We're going to come up to the standing position. Help yourself with that left hand. Ready? On exhalation. On exhalation, come on back down. Very nice. One more time. Good job. Very good. Come on back down. Good job, Rachel. Look at you. You couldn't even do this grasshopper. Come on up. One more time, guys. One more time. That's it. One more time. Hold with me for four. Three, two. We step back. Great work, guys. Push down Chaturanga. Come on up. Down for a facing dog. Take your time. Both hands flat. Navel in. Relax the head. Take your left leg up. Flex your toes. Flex your feet. Carry the leg outside. Remain your down dog outside. Lift it. Lift it, guys. Lift it. Lift it 90 degrees above the floor. Lift. Lift. That's it. Better. 
Draw that leg up and open up, bend your knee. Draw the belly towards the standing leg. Continue to expand. Step forward, outside of the left. Toes, knee, hip. Both legs carrying the weight equally. Stay with me. Both legs carrying the leg. Do not drop the knees. Open them up. Open them up. Beautiful. Take your both hands up front. We're going to carry the right outside of the left behind. All right. Grab your toes. We're gonna give it a few up and down movements. Use your leg, use your left. Push, lift, take it back. One more time, push. Crack, you can do it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Couple more times, guys. Up, down, on that body. One more time, up. Down, hold it for four. Three, two, we forgot to, little, to do little stretch, so take it back, open it up. That's it, that's it, that's it. And I will meet you back into the plank. Push down and we're gonna stay right there. Great work, take your hands up front, leave the chest, keep your feet on the floor. Hands farther, 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 farther. And reach all the way up. We will take our right hand in between, left in the center. Look behind the right shoulder. We're holding it for a few breaths. Go ahead and grab on your left ankle. Continue to look behind the left, behind the right shoulder. Keep on breathing, guys. Stay right there. Lift the heart. Push against the floor with the left hand. Lift the heart. Lift the heart. Take it back to the center. Both hands grounded. Now lift the belly scoop it in drop the head oh we're going back we're going to take the hour right in the center left in between look behind the left the, the left shoulder And go ahead, guys, and catch up if you can on the right ankle. Lift the heart, push against the floor. Push against the floor with the right hand. Look behind. We're holding it for a few breaths. And let's slowly take it back. All the way to the front. Press your both hands, guys, firmly. Scoop the belly up. Drop the head. Scoop the belly up. Very nice. Good job. Keep on breathing. We're going to take our right arm underneath the left. Right arm underneath the left. Come on back up and switch. Left, underneath the right. Oh, 
and back to the center. Go ahead and take your right in the center, left on top, eagle arms. When you're ready, make sure your belly, you can feel it. Breathe actively, breathe actively, lift. Neck is free, shoulders is free, you don't have to do the full bind. Ta da! That must be a bike ride in me. Take it back, reach up. You don't have to go for the full legal arm, my shoulders away. Away, away, away. Come on back, left, right. You don't have to leave the elbows of the floor if it's not there yet. Be patient. Swirls and no sin. Swirls and no sound. Swirls and no sin. Swirls and no sound. Take it back. Reach. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Slowly, guys, bend your knees. We come up to the center. We're going to take our the dumbbells away. We're going to take our right foot. Stepping outside. If you can't take your toes, into the half goddess pose seated position take it up here doesn't have to be outward we will begin just with a little hold right inside the right open up towards the left Come on back to the center, left, outside the right. Just give it a little bit more space before we fold forward. And back to the center. Hands or elbows on the floor or just the fingertips. I know, you don't have to take your elbows on the ground. Don't fail the shoulders. Scoop the belly, chest up. Keep on breathing. One little step at a time. I like those Instagram posts, if you have ever seen them, they would, like, some gymnasts, you know, I think, make those posts. And they would do like a super perfect, I don't know, like a split pose. And they would put like a desire. And then the next one would be the crooked one. And they're like, this is their reality. <laughs> Come on, back up. We're going to switch the legs. You don't have to put the toes out, right? Make sure you roll the glutes slightly out as well. Come on up, nice and tall first. Very good. We're just holding it for a few breaths. And then slowly take your right outside of the left. And we're going to return back to the center. Notice the differences between right and left. Hands, fingertips, blocks. Yeah, 
one step at a time. Few more breaths. Don't drop the shoulders, guys. Lift. Lift the chest. Lift the chest. You can fall forward with shoulders if it comes after your lower back. Very nice. Come on back up. We're going to take our boss feet. Variation of Malasana. Heels together. Toes out. Come on your toes if you have to. Put the blocks underneath. Heels together. Toes out. Heels together. Toes out. Sydney! Sydney! Stop screaming, please. Very good job, guys. What do you feel? Calves? Calves? Ankles, probably? Come on up with me. On the toes. Hands together. Heels together. Breathe actively. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Very good. Balance, guys. Excellent job. Couple more breaths. Slowly. Take your knees together. Take your toes out. Hero pose. Today we're going to sit up and straight in a hero pose and we're going to fall forward. We're going to go halfway backwards or full way backwards after that. But first we're going to sit up and straight for a few breaths. Let the tension go first for a few breaths. Let the tension go. And then if it's there, start to fold forward through the hips, through the hips. Leaning forward through the hips. I know. Very good. We are prepared for that. We did a good things for the hips and for the knees and for the feet. So slowly start to release deeper if it's getting there. Come on up. And we go halfway to the recline hero or the full way if you practice in the full way. Take your time. You can stop just right here. Use a block. If you don't sit in between the feet, you don't have to go and recline. Just do what you can. And let's slowly, guys, start to get back up. We're going to keep our left and a half hero. If you have to move it into the normal crisscross, half crisscross position, you can do that. You can move this leg out if you have to. We're just sitting up and tall, holding the right knee. Keep on breathing. And from there, we're going to move to the little baby cradle. You don't have to go all the way through or you can move this foot back to the front. Lift it up first and start to move your right foot towards the left shoulder. You can get rid of the left foot from the half hero pose. Just take that left foot just in the normal position. Few more breaths, guys. Few more breaths. And only if it's getting there. You're putting it on top into the half lotus. If not, just put that this around. 
and you also can get rid of the half hero, right? So it could be just left foot in a half bind, right foot nearby or in a half lotus. I want you guys to level your glutes, sit on the boss, sit bones equally, whatever you're doing, it doesn't have to be perfect. Lift, 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 lift up and first. Nice and tall. External hip rotation. Fold forward. I know. Give it a few breaths. Do not overdo it, please. We don't have to prove anyone anything. We just want to be more flexible, healthier, happier. So just take your time. And let's slowly come on back up. We will take the right back to the half hero. Left is gonna go out. Mm -hmm. Take your time, take your time. Nice and tall first. Belly towards the quad, nice and tall guys. Very good. And we will do our best from here to go to the baby cradle. You can move the right back to the normal position. Left over the right shoulder. Level the shoulders, I know. Let it go. Few more breaths. Try not to lean too much backwards. Mm -hmm. and only if that's available we're going to go for half lotus and a half hero you can release your right foot out of the right leg out of the half hero once you find it make sure you sit on the boss sit bones equally up and tall guys up and tall first external hip rotation on the left please that's right, release the foot nearby. You don't have to put it on top. And let's fold forward, if it's there. Very nice. We're gonna give it a few extra breaths. If you need to come out earlier, please do. Let's come on back up. Grab your boss feet. Hard work, dedication and repetition will pay off quickly. But we have to work for the results. It would be so nice. It would be so nice just to do a few minutes a day of exercise and eat whatever we want and still get the same results. But it doesn't work like that. It's a hard work, dedication and repetition and commitment and a positive attitude. Let's reach and push forward. Lift, 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 lift. The weather is treating us really well. I love it. It's beautiful and it's not hot. It's a breezy. It's wonderful. I'm just so grateful for this time. Lifetime. Memories. All right, guys. Let's slowly bring both feet up front to the half-bound angle. But Hakanasana, send your elbows to the side and just fold forward. You don't have to go deep, guys, but try to lean forward with the belly, not with the chest, with the belly. Jesus. 
inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose, send it to the place where it's needed the most, the hip flexor. And let's slowly come on back up. Go ahead and extend those legs. I know. Pull the glutes out. Let's reach up. Take those arms all the way behind. And lift the chest. If you wish, lift those hips with me. With me. Let's slowly bring the hips back on the floor. And before you go to the forward, forward fold, pull the glutes out. And with long extended back, fold. Take a few quality breaths. Slowly take your right hand outside of the left the way you can. Open up. And just switch. All the way to it. And back to the forward fold just for the couple breaths. Come on back up. And let's bring our boots, ankles up front of the body. Let's reach all the way up. And reach all the way up to draw everything you want to draw from the sky, from the universe, from this world inside your special and unique body and heart. Let's bring both hands up front of the heart. Nobody can walk in our shoes. No one ever can feel exactly how we feel. And we are the creators of our inside, our world, of our reality actions reactions so let's bring an intention and attention within and set the intention to flow through this day with awareness with love with kindness inside our hearts create a big bold beautiful smile share this smile with others and flow through the rest of this day with unshakable peace love and serenity inside no matter what namaste very good job, guys. Woohoo! Excellent.